How's it guys? I've been going through my videos to see what I can do to start making my videos a little bit more dynamic. So I've come to a saved replay that I had on Road America with myself, Colin and Jacques and um, decided to play with these new settings to see how it works. Let me know what you think. We're driving on board with Colin as we head into that first corner and that replay of me is extremely weird because it just looks like I'm floating in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> so at least my car is now fixed, head down the hill. Pulling a bit wide there onto the power. The view from Jacques, myself and Colin ahead. Oh, and he bends it into the wall. Didn't expect that. So we pick up the action again with me delirious in second place following Colin Salt Machine. I'm in the Ferrari. 488 GTE and he's in the F4 and the GT40 GTE. I didn't have the confidence to go flat out through there. I just felt that every time I did, I would just wash out into the grass. Tap off on the power there, just keep that nose turning in. Great shot of the GT40 in the Ferrari going past here on the main straight. It's me really pushing hard to try and get every bit of time back onto Colin. So this is a lap two of a three lap race. And I was very surprised to see how low that GT40 really is compared to the Ferrari. Tucking in nicely behind on that slipstream. We cut back into Dylan chasing Colin down on that long straight down the hill. and I can hear him on my left hand side there he is oh I didn't expect him to be so close sorry about that bump Colin so unfortunately I didn't get to make that move stick but let's find another opportunity oh he's a bit slow into that corner Almost brake check me. I was a bit worried because I knew that I'd have to tap off here and Colin would probably go straight through. There's my tap off. The slipstream definitely helped me here. Come on the brakes a bit earlier. the last corner, try and get a better run out of it, just carry more speed up the hill. Great shot of the GT40 with the Ferrari in tow. Blocking that inside line. It's 
see, did I get that slipstream coming down the hill? No, just too far. Colin pulling a bit of a lead here on the second lap of three. We cut back to Jacques in the Aston and shame it is not looking healthy at all. There must have been some damage there for Jacques. I honestly didn't mean to do that Jacques to catch you on a spin. Here the door. So it's at this stage, we're about 0.6 behind Colin. Last couple of corners to end this race. I feel like I've got second in the bag, but just not going to get that first. Unless I have a great braking zone at the end here. Hold on the brakes. Oh, I didn't get a penalty there. I was very lucky. Get the pedal to the floor as I came around that corner. Laid on the brakes, turn in. Power on a bit earlier than I would have. Then have an amazing drive out of that last corner. Get into the slipstream, move over, and go for the place.